Yo, what's up world? It's your boy Filosco here and today we're going to have another lesson learning four more phrasal verbs. We're almost up to a hundred, we're going to get there, so stay tuned. Let's get to the four new ones for today. Why wait? And the first one for today that we're going to learn is to end up. And what does it mean to end up? Well, to end up basically means to eventually be something or eventually do something. For example, let's say I decided to become a weightlifter and I would lift weights every single day. You know, exercising, trying to become strong. I would eventually end up looking like this. I would end up looking like a bodybuilder because I would work out every day. But on the other hand, since I am in Russia, let's say I decided to wear tight Adidas every day and I decided to wear funny looking hats, drink beer, and sit on the air. Well, I would basically end up a Gopnik. I would become a Gopnik. If I were to do those things every day, I would become a Gopnik because this is what they are known to do. Like that. Basically, to reach something. To eventually become or eventually do. Simple. So, let's get to the second one. And the second one we're going to learn for today is to figure something or someone out. Now, what does it mean to figure something or someone out? Well, let's first start off with something. So let's take this math problem. Do you think you can figure this out? Well, of course you can figure it out. This is an easy one. But what it means to figure something out means to solve the problem, to understand the answer. So five plus something equals 10. That one's pretty simple. I can figure this out. It's five plus five equals 10. Prosta. Now, what does it mean when you figure someone out? Well, if you figure someone out, that means you understand what a person really wants or how a person is in general. Well, if you were able to figure me out, you would understand the kind of person I am, why I do what I do, what I want to do, and how I basically think. That's figuring someone out. So a lot of times when girls meet guys, sometimes they want to know if the guy just wants to be a friend or if the guy wants to be more than a friend. Well, she would have to try her best to figure him out in order to know the truth. And she would be able to tell if he wants to be a friend or more. That's figuring someone and figuring something out. Simple. Come on. Let's go to number three. And number three for today is to fill out. What does it mean to fill out or fill something out? It basically means to write down the information. So for example, let's say you want to go get your visa in order to visit America. Well, you're going to get a lot of papers that you will have to fill out. You will have to write your name, your birthday, where you live, why you want to go to America, all that kind of stuff. That's putting in the information in writing on the paper. That is filling the paper out. Like that. Filling the paper out is using fill out separately, which is okay, but you can also use fill out together because someone can hand you the paper and say, here, Here's a paper that you need to fill out. So you can say, I want to fill out this paper or I'm going to fill this paper out. It's separable. It works. So let's get to the fourth and last one for today. Hang in there. And the last one is to fool around. Now what does it mean to fool around? Well basically, to fool around means to waste time not doing something productive. For example, let's say I go to a university and I have a lot, a lot, a lot of important homework to do. But instead of doing all this important homework, I'm on YouTube just watching random videos. Fail compilations, Russian road rage videos, the Miss Universe pageants, and all of that stuff. I would be wasting my time. I would be too busy fooling around rather than doing what I'm really supposed to do. And that's basically it. And so that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash That's me. And subscribe to my YouTube page to see all of my videos. I'm still here in Rostov Ondon. After this, I'll be in Kiev. Then I'll be in Krasnoyarsk. And then I will be in Moscow, giving classes in all of these cities. So join my page so you can get more information if you want to attend the classes. And I'm out. Later. And don't be racist. <laughs> so don't be ra That is his catchphrase, the don't.